Hey everybody, Pastor Matt here with your Daily RPM. Happy Wednesday to you. Hey, don't forget to give these a like and a share. This, Wednesday, or this week we're talking about the comparison between Jonah and Nehemiah. Two awesome people in scripture who did great things for God, but one did it with a great heart and the other one not so much. You see, Jonah, today I want to talk to you about attitude. Jonah, God gave him the call to go preach to the Ninevites. He drags his feet, he runs from God. God prepares the whale, brings him back, goes through some storms, all those things. And he goes, and when we actually study the scripture, all Jonah, all Jonah has to do is say one sentence, yet 40 days and God will destroy this city. And I want you to know that in that one sentence, all the people of Nineveh repented, they fasted, and they asked God for forgiveness. There was great revival in Nineveh. And instead of rejoicing, Jonah begins to complain to God. And he complains about how hot it was. And he actually gets depression come upon him. To the point he becomes suicidal. Nehemiah, on the other hand, is out there saying, God, God never comes. So Nehemiah says, I want you to go rebuild Jerusalem. Nehemiah goes to God and says, God, would you please let me do this? God, would you please allow me to be involved? God, will you please, please, oh God, come upon me and use me. And you know, there's just such a huge difference in their hearts. Jonah, all he had to do was say one sentence, and he did that and then complained. When you study what uh, Nehemiah had to do to work hard, he, all the effort and organization, hard manual labor, and they had to be prepared to defend themselves from attackers and invaders. He had to work to keep unity in his camp. And at the end of the day, he was thankful that God used him. So, you know, if we want to be great for God, it does start with our attitude and our heart. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.